The Berlin Thunder may be glad to hit the road again this week after dropping two close games at home. A key to stopping the skid is for their defense to continue to be one of the stingiest in the league, giving up a mere 11 points per game. The Cologne Centurions offense has come alive this season and has them looking to put back-to-back -back wins together behind the league's number two rushing attack. If the offense keeps firing, they can keep pace with league-leading Frankfurt. NFL Network is proud to present NFL Europa. Rhine Energy Stadium in Cologne, 72 degrees, mostly cloudy skies as the Berlin Thunder square off against the Cologne Centurion. Cologne has already lost to Frankfurt, but they want to keep pace. Chris Barclay, the tailback, first and 10 for Berlin. Lele gets hit from behind by Jason Hall. That ball is loose, it's picked up by Cologne, and they have the football. George Gauss picked it up after Jason Hall got the sack and force fumble. A lot of pressure from this defense. Ford started coming forward, so goal line situation. From Meyer, flips it into the end zone for a touchdown to his tight end, Tony Curtis, his first touchdown of the season. Well, that's what you want to do, Bob, is just turn opportunities into points and you get that in the red zone here. Going with a little play action pass to your tight end, Tony Curtis, Eric Meyer feeling good about the whole situation. Third and eight now for Cologne. Meyer to Hall for the Centurion offense. He was on injury reserve last year with Denver because of a shoulder. Third and three, Meyer has the first down. First and ten for Cologne. Blitz on, Meyer deep over the middle, and it's caught for a touchdown. Javon Bonite. Good job by the offensive line. The protection was there for Eric Meyer. Talked about blitz, and that's exactly what it was. It's zero coverage, or everyone is coming. You're gonna... Your tail back, Chris Barclay. Third and one. Barclay, a race to the edge. Reese dives in and brings him down right near the marker. Chris Reese. Shaw, Vickerson, and even Sape in there. Quick off the football, and they're powerful players. First and five, little play fake. Curtis again, he's got a touchdown, and Curtis has a first down. Ross back in at tailback, gets some daylight, and Ross pinballs his way. Eric Meyer remains in at quarterback for Cologne. He's thrown a pair of touchdown passes, seven for seven, throwing it. And he lobs it, make it eight for eight, as he hooks up with Bonite for the second time today. Well, things are going the way of the Centurions, no doubt about that. Good, easy throw and catch here for Eric Meyer coming out of the pocket and rolling around the edge important thing in NFL Europe for all of these players is repetitions and practice time and ability to play. Novak on the kickoff. Barclay with a head of steam. Barclay beats Novak. Barclay chased down and still runs out of the tackle and he's going to score. What a run by Chris Barclay. And that's the spark Berlin needed. Tremendous run back by Chris Barkley. It's set up very well with initial blocking for with the Berlin Thunder doing a good job initially. And then it just takes over. Chris Barkley with his speed. And here's a missed tackle on the left side of your screen here. That Den Dennis Davis, number 24, doesn't grab him and pull him down. Because no one was offering him any kind of college scholarship. Yeah, you got to sell yourself sometimes. Porter did that and got his opportunities, made the most of them, and now trying to do that here. But here's the interception. Chris Harrell gets the pick. Yeah, he's in the ball game for... Eric Pruitt is out of the game. Eric Pruitt out of the ball game. So Chris Orell, the defensive back, comes in and running ability between the tackles. Third and two for Berlin. After the interception, Lele has the first down. As Charles Davis, the big tight end with the catch, and he top left of your screen there, the top hash mark. That's the umpire. The referee's on the near side. Lele flips it off underneath and picks up another first down. Just inside the 10 for Berlin. Lele, fastball over the middle, touchdown! Charles Davis, the tight end. Nice throw by Lele. Well, you want to take all those bogeys off of that red zone production that they've had. Last possession, though, Quentin Porter throw that interception that resulted in the Berlin touchdown. Ross on the handoff. 
Picks up a quick five. David Duggan told us that Meyer would start, Porter would come in, and then Meyer would probably finish the game. Look at those numbers, eight for eight, 95 yards, and three touchdowns. Coach is calling him on the sideline. Second and five, Porter. Checks down to Ross. Ross fights for the first down, and he's got it. This Berlin defense. Third and five. Porter. Fires one right, completes it. Bo Knight has the first down. See the field clearly, and then he steps out and watch that guy go up. Javon Bo Knight, wow. Chris Thompson there on the coverage, and pretty good coverage, but just a ball that probably shouldn't have been caught. Javon goes up and grabs it. Ross with a good run on first and 10. Defensive tackles in the run game really are huge. You've got to make an impact. Second and six for Porter. Lobs it down the sideline, has Curtis again. First and goal for Cologne. Ross, Ross powering his way to the goal line, stood up and stopped. Blizzard in motion. Ross powers his way for the touchdown. Bread and butter for the Cologne Centurions. And they have four touchdowns on the board here in the first half. Derek Ross powers it in from a yard out that you should know. The play clock is 35 seconds. A field goal attempted over 50 yards is worth full four points. Barclay, the tailback in this set. Rhodes in motion. Lele to throw. Gets it off to his tight end. Alex Shorey, he's got the first down as Reese runs him out of bounds. Second and four. Six play, 36 yard drive so far for Berlin. Lele with a blitz, and he's gonna get sacked back at his own 49 yard line. Yeah, they actually lead in a lot of categories as you see here in the sacks first, so. A game that's featured a 99 yard kickoff return. Belay has time, intercepted! Alvin and Wabufe with the interception for Cologne. A practice squad player with the Green Bay Packers. Well, more importantly, he knows the language. You know, <laughs> that's the thing that he brings. He understands uh, what's being spoken out there. So, 100 games, congratulations. Third and 11, Porter. Just throws it away, intended for Burl Toller. You're watching NFL Europa on NFL Network. Third and seven for Berlin. Lule near the marker, and he slides, and he's got the first. Third and five. Lule to throw, gets it to his tight end, and he's got the first down, Charles Davis. Third and 15. Lele under pressure. Lele buys some time and completes it. And he's got the first down. Checks out of the play. They do not blitz. Completes it on the sideline. To get, get that, uh, those repetitions that he need to get to this type of level of football. And on a third and 15, he had Muzinski, but he couldn't deliver it. This is, of course, under 50. Hawkes sets it, and he gets it inside the right upright for three. That's all he needed to stop Ross. Josh Lay, sixth round pick of the Saints. So third down for Meyer. Remains perfect, but he does not get the first down as he hit Al Harris every day in practice. Outstanding corner for the Packers. Lay. Charles Davis again, he's got the first down. We'll explain more of that in just a second. Nothing doing this time as Gauss just eats up Damian Rhodes. American way of football to, uh, to Europe and all the guys, they really say that they really like that experience and it, and it worked real well with the community. Lele is gonna run it. Lele finds extra yardage and gets up to midfield. Kind of flinch their hands, those different things. If you watch tape close enough, you'll pick up some clues and Jordan's learning how to do that. Final play of the third. Can't hook up with Mazinski. Gabe Franklin was right there. Trying to get a fresh set of downs as they hold a 28-17 lead. Meyer will throw. He's got a lane and he's got a first down. Meyer. Got off to a very good start here in NFL Europa. He'll throw it on first down and complete it on first down. That's not easy for quarterbacks to pick up who haven't been familiar with it, but he did that a lot at Washington, Eastern Washington, and done so very well here for Cologne this season. Derek Ross 
Stood up by Goodwell, and he moves the pile forward, then lost it, and it's recovered by Berlin. Well, those are the things that happen when you're a big bruising running back sometimes, and you're trying to move the pile. Well, the defense, yeah, they're there. They're trying to get you down, but they're also trying to pull that football out. Second down for Berlin. Lillet finds some time and finds a wide open Carlton Brewster, and he's going to score. He's been quiet all day, but he makes his mark here in the fourth. His first touchdown catch of the season. I think that Travis Lillet is actually surprised that he's that wide open. He started on the far side of the field and came across. And Worked against a guy like Al Harris every day. It said it made him better. Hawkins on the kickoff after the 15-yard unsportsmanlike penalty. So Cologne should have good field position. A.J. Harris takes it across the 40. Third and 10 for Cologne. Eric Meyer 10 for 10 in this ball game. Make it 10 for 11 as that pass was knocked away by Chris Thompson. And Meyer was lucky that that wasn't a pick six the other way. As Thompson got a hand on it. Good punt by Stelly, and this will be the second one downed inside the one yard line in this ball game as Holt. Field position plays key in the, towards the end of this ball game. Second and six. Rhodes gets some daylight. Rhodes has a first down. Lillet completes it, has the first down to the 30-yard line. Berlin had 50 yards of offense to Cologne's 200. Barclay back in. Lost the football. Reese has got it for Cologne. Third turnover of the ball game for Berlin. Well, you see the contact here on Rhodes, and the ball pops out, and Chris Reese is safety just kind of around the pile. But in fact, hit his first 10 passes before missing on one. Third down for Meyer. Safe pass, and he's got his tight end, Tony Curtis, for a first down. It's traditional timing rules on incomplete passes. It's not as if they spot it and set it. Now it's coughed up by Harris, who loses the football. Berlin has it back. A.J. Harris just coughed it up, and Chris Harrell First down here now for Berlin on the 30-yard line. There, you win the game. No, you win the game. No, you win the game. <laughs> Lillet on first and 10. He's actually right there behind David Duggan on the sideline, so it looks like he's standing up and ready to go. But Rhodes here gets another carry inside, so. Down by four. Rhodes has a first down and more. Finally dragged down by Curtis. Second and four, we're being told now Berlin has two timeouts remaining. Lillet completes it. Mazinski, so now it's first and 15. Lillet shovels one underneath to Brewster, and he makes the catch down at the 11-yard line. Rhodes up the middle. Rhodes. Reaching for the goal line, it comes loose, no signal, touchdown! Touchdown, Berlin! He broke the plane with the football, then it came loose, ruled a touchdown. Well, you got a three-down line package here in the game here for Centurions, and he just runs through the gaps, and watch his right arm, he's got the presence of mind to stick it out over the goal line. Looks like his knee might have been down before he got it over there, but nonetheless, it's going to be ruled a touchdown for Berlin, and they go up in this ball game for the first time. Meyer on a first and 10. Gets it to the sideline of Burl Toller. Two timeouts for Cologne, one minute to go in the game. Meyer, quick drop, gets it to the sideline, and out of bounds goes Bonite for Cologne. Meyer on the run, can't find Toller. He's their fleet-footed back. Kind of takes the draw out of the mix. Meyer gets sacked by Tollefson. Dave Tollefson gets his second sack of the season. Not easy to catch a young man fleet of foot as Eric Meyer. Fourth and ten for Cologne. Down by three. Meyer looking over the middle. Caught by Toller. It's ruled a catch. Yeah, he pulled it off the grass. Got it on top of the shoe tops there. And Eric Meyer trying to stop the clock here. 
And he'll spike the football with 25 seconds left. These guys are thinking, hey, it's hitting the ground, but Toller makes a nice grab. Looks like he gets his hands under it. Yeah, that's a nice play by Burl Toller. Second and 10. Meyer short arms it. Meyer gets hit by Tollison again, but completes it! Bobby Blizzard to the 20 yard line. And the clock's still running, they need to get up there and stop this clock. And Meyer will snap it and spike it. Impressive drive by Eric Meyer to get his team to this point. Now it rests on the right foot of Nick Novak, who will try about a 37 yard field goal to tie this game. Snap is low, kick on its way, and he missed it left. He hooked it left. Novak misses from 37 yards. And Berlin is going to get the win. Down 21-0. So Cologne falls to 2-2. Two and two. They're 0-2 at home. And Berlin gets their second win of the season. They're 2-0 and on the road. What is it with the road teams? Gary Reason's a great game today. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to watch. Travis Lee showed some, some character at the quarterback position here for Berlin. And I think overall it was a lot of character building for both teams.